Well, Medicaid uh, and public option, they're, they're very different. The Medicaid and some of these bills will be expanded to include more people, and, and uh, uh, there will be changes in, in, in what's referred to as uh, eligibility based on the, 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 the poverty level uh, and the percentage of poverty that someone's household income represents. The public option will be very different. The Medicaid program is a government-run program that is paid for by the government. Public option the, 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 the would, again, operate very much like a public from the private plan that you would pay premiums uh, into the public option. You might, you might have some subsidies that help you buy that coverage uh, if you're, depending on what your income is, but it's, it's, it's administered, would be administered quite differently from the Medicaid program. Um, let's see. Um, why not expand Medicare to everyone? Uh, I have heard that, uh, we, that it, might be, it might have been a better approach if instead of having a, a, a thousand page bill, we just inserted uh, a few words in the Medicare Act and said let's expand this to cover every, every American, which, which would be uh, essentially a way to, to, to have a, a single payer system. And uh, you certainly have far less uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, legislation to have to deal with. And a lot of people honestly have advocated that. The single payer legislation in the House has many sponsors, and there are sponsors in the, in the Senate. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders uh, is, a, is a strong advocate of single payer. In fact, I think it'd be a lot more if, if they felt that uh, uh, it was understood, the concept was understood. But that's why, again, I get back to this. It's so important to explain to people the merits of the single payer system, what it is, how it operates, how it can benefit them. Uh, and how they can ensure that uh, uh, they and their, their children, their grandchildren, will be protected from losing a job and losing interest in the future. So uh, that's just an aside. Uh, what's the impact uh, on the present Medicare program? And if so, what in this legislation? And this question about the solvency of the Medicare program and it being financially unsustainable. Um, clearly, there are people who are my age and older heading toward the uh, and younger heading toward the Medicare system, we all hopefully are, um, and uh, hopefully it'll be there. There, there. there really does need to be changes made in, in how uh, care is paid for. Uh, the, the current structure uh, is based on fee for service by and large, and, uh, uh, and that there, there, there are things inherently problematic about that, and that has led to uh, Medicare Having, uh, paying out probably more in certain ways than, than it might. There are providers who don't want to participate in the Medicare program because they don't think that the, medic, that the reimbursement is adequate. But part of the reform should take a look at how doctors and other health care providers are compensated, uh, maybe based uh, more on the outcome that, that can be determined and, and, uh, and, and how patients fare and the treatments that they're provided rather than just for every single test this order or procedure that's done. That, yes. uh, that, can be, that, can be, that can be something that, that can be looked at for sure. Um, why will there be several year delay until final bill provisions are passed by Congress? This always happens. Uh, uh, the implementation of bills usually are staggered or, or delayed uh, so that the industry presumably or, or those who are affected can, can uh, uh, get ready to adapt to the changes that are, that are being made in the legislation.